let's go ahead and start looking at some of the basics of this. The first thing we need to pay attention to is the name because this is confusing. There are many different ways to write names across the world and the APA style of course was made for Western or European American names and here's an example. So we have Clyde A. Warden Jr. That's me. This is very straightforward. It would seem very easy to understand but for many non-native speakers such as Chinese, Japanese, and um, Indonesia, Malaysia, there are many ways to write names that are not at all uh, this way. So we need to understand how does this work. The idea is that we have the family name here and this name is the name that we're going to cite. These other names are the given name, this is the first name, this is the middle name A, and then this is a suffix. That is, it comes after words, some kind of suffix. This is not a title like doctor or professor or a lawyer or something like that or MD, medical doctor. No, no. This is part of the actual person's name. So when we are citing a person, we're going to pay attention to the family name or the last name. And in fact, this is the name that we're going to use to order our names. That is alphabetical order A to Z based on this W, not based on this C. So the reason we do this is because we're going to order our list later. Year of publication is the next key point we need to remember. So here's Kessler. So this is the author's family name. And here is the year of publication. Kessler found that among epidemiological samples, something, 2003. Early onset results in a more persistent and severe course, Kessler 2003. So again, these are two ways to write this. Both of these ways have parenthetical, that is a parenthesis. Here a little bit. Whoops, whoops, let me show that to you again. Here we have the parentheses just for the date. And in the second example, we have the parentheses for the name and the date. Both ways are possible. Both are parenthetical. That is, they both use parentheses. Sometimes you can get away without using a, par a parentheses at all. And this is a very rare kind of case. Um, why is it rare? Because it's kind of hard to write this way, actually. It's much easier to just write the ideas and then include a parentheses open, parentheses close, include the author and the date. That is really the easiest way to write your sentences. A harder way to write your sentences would be, in this case, in 2003, which right there is the year, comma, Kessler, who's that? That's the author, his study of this did something. Wow, well that's interesting because here's the idea I'm actually writing about, but here's the person and here's the date. That's everything we need. We don't need anything more in parentheses because we've already included it. That's a rare case and I don't think you'll do that very much because it's actually very hard to write that way, especially when you have many references which you should have for your good quality research.